I think God speaks to us through um, the experiences of our lives. I was um, born and raised in Chicago on the west side. The priesthood had a uh, sort of a uh, attractiveness because uh, there really was, for most of us growing up in those days, there was no likelihood of going on to college. The priests were very well respected people and they were the leaders in the neighborhood. So it was a natural attraction for uh, people like myself. I had asked or requested that I go to a uh, African-American parish. So my assignment was to the south side of Chicago, to St. Sabina Parish. In those days, it was all white. The first black family had just moved in by the time I arrived. By 1970, the parish was 98% black. St. Sabina Parish today is arguably uh, the largest black Catholic parish in the country. I was the priest who was in charge of the school at St. Sabina. I worked very closely with the principal of the school, Sister Kiaran, and uh, I found her to be an incredibly talented, gifted, well-organized, and wonderful person. Over the period of those years, our relationship became firmer and firmer. And at a certain point, I realized, and I think she realized, that we were not prepared to give up this relationship. And uh, finally, we decided that I would leave the priesthood. We uh, got married and uh, settled down in a little tiny apartment on, up on, uh, off of Sheridan Road. And of course, I needed work. So I went to Medill to get a master's degree. And then I went and applied at the Chicago Defender, the black-owned newspaper on the south side. And they hired me. I was down at City Hall uh, for press conferences with Mayor Daley. I got to know Jesse Jackson. We were like friends. Uh, Harold Washington and I were buds. We, uh, it was just a marvelous experience. I also did a little teaching at Columbia a college in Chicago, and then at Northwestern uh, School of Journalism. During that freelance period, I was working for the Chicago Reader. While working there, I acquired the idea that uh, a story can be great if somehow or other it touches on one or more of the great realities. And all of the, all of the great realities have uh, a negative pole and a positive pole, life and death, love and hate or apathy success and failure, if, if your stories somehow, somehow get, get into one, of those, uh, one or more of those ideas, you, you get good stories. The book I just completed will be titled The Coming Democratization of the Catholic Church. The world is so different than, they, than it was uh, in 1950. We're moving into a new era. This should be an era of hope. I wrote that book basically because I know so many Catholics who are discouraged, distressed, and uh, they said there's no future. And I'm saying, well, the organization as it is, is not going to survive, but the church is going to survive. So I'm full of hope.